Hey guys, what's up? Dr. I'm Bat Prime 2.0 here, and or Noah Climber, if you know me pretty well. So, uh, for today's, uh, well, top 10, I'm doing my top 10 anti-heroes in comic books. That's right, we're gonna be talking about uh, some, uh, well, heroes that are pretty bad in some areas, but could, well, or could be villains that have a little good in them. Now, before I go into any further into this list, I just want you guys to know, uh, honestly, I kind of stopped doing the top 10s because I don't have a lot of views on these videos, but figured I'd pick myself back up by doing it all over again, starting with this one. So yeah, there's that. And uh, I've been busy here and there with some cosplay things that I kind of wish that YouTube was a real job for me. I mean, I've been busy with school. You know, some cosplaying things, and I've been busy all over the place that, well, haven't been able to do top tens in a little while. Believe me, I would do them every day, but again, it is not a real job, but I kind of wish that being a YouTuber was a job, but yeah. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into today's list, starting with my top 10 anti-heroes. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom became one of my top 10 because, well, I mean, he's related to normal Venom that we all know and love, who's, well, an enemy Spider-Man, but uh, he's basically done some good here and there. I mean, if you've been reading the Anti-Venom comics, you would get the picture on, well, why Eddie Brock is, well, all the white Venom and black Venom. Well, white and black instead of black and white. Very good, I'll put a link down below so that way you can check out Variant Comics' top, well, history of, well, anti-venom. Now at number 9, we have the deadliest member of the Watchmen, the Comedian. The Comedian is one of my few favorite, uh, well, anti-heroes because, I mean, he's really good with guns. I mean, he's a soldier, well, used to be. Kind of like how he was a member of the Minutemen at first, and then became, well, a member of the Watchmen. And, well, kind of like how he's back again in DC Comics, if you've been reading, well, the, well, Doomsday Clock storyline. Because, I mean, Comedian's back. Spoiler alert. I mean, if you haven't been reading the Doomsday Clock, you need to read that. I mean, Comedian's back, and yeah. I mean, Comedian, he's really good with weapons. He's a soldier, he's pretty tough, I mean, I find him, like, a pretty B.A. character. Now at number 8, we have Floyd Lawton himself, aka Deadshot. If you've seen Suicide Squad, you would know why Deadshot is one of my favorites. I mean, he's really good at shooting bad guys and good guys, I mean, he's also a member of the Suicide Squad, in fact, in some comics, He's the leader of the Suicide Squad, and, uh, and well, I mean, he just steals money and, well, shoots down the good guys. Hmm. So yeah, and Suicide Squad, you gotta check that out if you haven't. Sing on number 7, we have Moon Knight. Some of you might argue and say, isn't Moon Knight kind of like Batman, but for Marvel Comics? Well, that's kind of true, yeah, because Moon Knight... He basically has a thing for giving, well, bad guys a bloodbath. I mean, he'll fight the bad guys, yeah, but he might end up killing them. So, fair warning if you ever go up against him. But also, I kind of wish that he would later on, well, get his own live-action movie and or Netflix series. Because I would watch the crap out of that. Because, I mean, if you've been reading Moon Knight comics, you would know how deadly he is. I mean, nah being people up, like, in a brooding battle way, like, that might scare you to death, and might give you rated R nightmares. Now at number 6, we have Frank Castle himself, aka The Punisher. Frank Castle, The Punisher, I mean, what the heck is wrong with you if you don't even know him? Because, I mean, this guy is pretty tough and is pretty deadly, I mean, he was, well, tough enough to take down Daredevil. He was uh, smart enough to dodge Captain America's shield and was able to, well, let hit Spidey with a trank dart. Or was that Daredevil? Either one. 
he was able to do all of that. I mean, he's taken down superheroes, he's taken on some pretty tough villains. I mean, he's a pretty deadly guy. I mean, you should also check out the, well, let the, Net the Netflix series Punisher. And I mean, season one is actually really good. And I can't wait for season two, or at least see him in the Marvel MCU with the, while interacting with other Marvel MCU characters. But yeah, the Punisher, Frank Castle, he's a deadly guy. I mean, if you've been reading Punisher comics or seen, well, the Punisher Netflix series, you would get the picture. Now halfway at number five, we have Spawn. Spawn? I mean, he's just one of my favorite characters that are outside of Marvel and DC. I mean, he's just, well, he's just an awesome hero to me. Well, anti-hero. And uh, kind of like how he's kind of a demon. And, well, he kind of works for Malvosia, who's kind of like his boss. So, yeah, that's kind of the bummer part. I mean, the spawn is still Al Simmons. Uh, pretty well, uh, what awesome, well, guy that's good with guns, and was well a soldier, or who loves his wife, but five years later, he just, well, he's just dead, and well, comes back, and starts, well, scaring people to death. I mean, that he's pretty deadly. I mean, there is gonna be a Spawn movie coming soon, and I can't wait for that. Although some of you might ask, what about the Spawn movie that was made back in the 1990s? That one, kinda cool, yeah. And the cartoon, pretty deadly and it is not kid friendly. Why do you think it's on HBO? And yeah, so, I mean Spawn's a deadly hero, well, anti-hero, so. If you, well, end up dead, hope to become Spawn. Now at number four, we have fan favorite, Watchmen member, Rorschach. Rorschach is just one of my favorite characters in all of comic books. I mean, I love his whole origin story. I love the Watchmen. I'm just a humongous, diehard Watchmen fan. I mean, Rorschach, I even cosplayed as him. I mean, I really love how like, he'll just beat up the bad guys and, well... He'll just go for it, like on being up good guys, bad guys, no matter what gets in his way. Now in the top three, we have Jason Todd, aka The Red Hood. Now I am a super huge, die-hard Batman fan. Red Hood had to be in my top three because, I mean, I love the whole story arc of Jason Todd, of how he goes from Robin to, well, Red Hood. And, well, if you played the Arkham games, you would get the picture on, uh, well, why he's an anti-hero. Or, if you've, uh, well, ever seen the movie Batman, well, Under the Red Hood, you would get the picture. Also, Jason Todd, aka Robin, well, second Robin, aka Red Hood, has had takeover for Batman one time, as in being a Batman that uses guns. And I was like, wow, I'm surprised on so many levels that Jason Todd becoming Batman is a crazy thing. Now at number two, we have Slade Wilson, AKA Deathstroke. Now before some of you say, what? Deathstroke is an anti-hero? How is he an anti-hero? Well, it's simple on how he's an anti-hero. I mean, well, he'll do work for money. He'll shoot down a, well, bad guys that are well considered enemies of other heroes and also he did become a member of the Suicide Squad but for a short time and yes I know he would turn on the team later on but hey that stroke is a member of the Suicide Squad so that's a little fun fact and something for that any of you Suicide Squad fans would want to know maybe we'll see him in a Suicide Squad sequel and finally taking the top spot number one goes to the Merc with the Mouth himself, Deadpool. Yes, Deadpool had to be number one. He's related to Deathstroke, only he's, well, ten times funnier and cooler. I mean, well, he's the Merc with the Mouth, who can't die, he'll work for money, 
He'll kill bad guys. He'll kill superheroes. I mean, he just has a heart for killing. I mean, he makes me laugh. Makes me cry. I'm like, oh my god. LOL. So many things that Deadpool has done. If you've seen the movie or you've read the comics, you get the picture on why Deadpool is number one top spot. Now, before I end this list, here's some honorable mentions that I think you guys might like. And those honorable mentions go to Electronachios, John Constantine, and Judge Dredd. Well guys, I really hope you like this list. And if you like, you can please leave your top 10, your top 5, however many of anti-heroes down in the comments section down below. I'm always reading comments here and there, and uh, yeah, just uh, please comment. And well, if you've been following my channel for a little while, glad I have these. And well, if you've been following me on my social media, you'll know what these are. These are my Nightwing Scremistics, because well, I want you guys to well, be on the lookout for when I do my showcase on my Nightwing cosplay because I'm working on some things, little things here and there, but it's almost done, so I should have it done by like sometime around spring break, so stay tuned for that and be on the lookout for that. And also be on the lookout for two movie reviews on uh, Pacific Rim 2 and uh, Ready Player One. I'll be seeing those after spring break, so be on the lookout for those in the future. And be on the lookout for my, well, Nightwing video. Because, uh, almost done. I just need to do a couple more things to the costume. Then it's complete. So, yeah. And, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to, well, leave the like button. Hit the thumbs up. And, well, don't forget to, well, hit the subscribe. And, well, hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And, uh, well, don't forget to follow me off Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Also, Cosplay me know. So, yeah. Anyways, this is Dr. Ryan Bat Prime 2.0. And, uh, I'm out of here. And, uh, see you guys in the next video.